I do appreciate being invited here tonight to speak for a few minutes before you. I realize it's a late hour right now. But uh, I've been a councilman in Woodbridge Township for 28 years. And I'll be retiring this December 31st. However, we've decided that I can be a pretty damn good senator if I can get elected. Now, the 19th elect district is Carteret, Perth Amboy, Sayreville, South Amboy, and Woodbridge Township. And what I would like to do tonight is primarily ask for your support. Your support as a volunteer. My uh, uh, team members and I, we're working to, uh, as I was saying, we're working to get a, a couple of dates where we're going to do some door-to-door, -door, but mostly to distribute literature. Unlike Steve Lonigan, we won't be asking you to knock on doors and talk to people. That's our job, and that's the job we're doing right now. But some of the things that I stand for, you know, I believe that we should have real changes in our spending habits in New Jersey. That's the only way we're going to slow this insane rise in property taxes. We depend on property taxes, and until a better system comes in, that's what we're stuck with. I also do not believe we need any new taxes, and I do not like the fact that we never seem to be able to cut them. I, I'm a proponent of tax cuts whenever possible. Yeah, it's, it's true, but it's a, it's a very hard thing to do. You just can't seem to get the message to those who are in charge right now. That's why I'm running ask the Republican state senate candidate against my Democrat opponent. Now, my opponent is completely opposite from me. He is basically from the left of middle, as far left as you can get. As I've been here before, you know, I'm more of the middle of the road moderate, but I can swing to the right. And the one good thing about us, it's a completely different, it's two different choices. I'll be talking to you, I'll listen to you, we'll take your ideas, and we'll try to work with them. If you don't agree with the Democrat side of the fence, you're ignored. That's just how life is in politics, probably all over. I believe that small businesses create the jobs we need. I don't believe that we should be taxing them out of business. Now I know as a councilman, I see what happens to the business people. They get loaded up with all the increases, any of the variable taxes. If we can figure out a way, well not myself, but if it can be figured out, they will try to tax them as much as possible. And they, the uh, people in power generally will not try to go after the homeowners if possible also. And they look at who's voting. I'm an army brat. My father was a lieutenant colonel. He worked his way up from private. So I am very much aware of our veterans, their plight, and our military people. I am very much pro-veteran and pro-military. That doesn't mean I support what's happening in Washington right now. In fact, I'm dead set against it. Unfortunately, I don't have the vote. And our uh, representatives seem to want to ignore the will of what I believe is a majority of the American people. I am pro-Second Amendment. I happen to enjoy target shooting, and I fight any type of new laws that come in to restrict our abilities to enjoy a hobby that we, a lot of us like. I'm pro-life, and that's all I have to say on it. I'm pro-life, period. That's how I feel. I've been taught that all my life. We go to Mass on Sunday, and we hear it, and I never have a disagreement with it. And one thing I do believe in, I have a number of grandchildren, I have a reasonably large family, and I support the traditional family values. I view what I see now in this country as the family breaking apart, and I believe that's a major cause of a lot of the problems that we have in this country. Now, I've touched upon some issues that people might feel are just federal, but the states have a big say in it, just pretty much, pretty much everything I've said tonight. So. I would like, if anyone would like to support myself or Stephanie, we'll be here at the end of the meeting. We'll be glad to take your name and any telephone numbers that you might have to give us so we can contact you. Now, I don't want to bore you anymore because I know you pretty much heard a lot of these speeches and you'll hear a lot more between now and November. 
So with that, Nora, I'll give you back the microphone.